Hey, what's up? It's Hobart. Welcome to Android University. Thanks for joining me this morning. I was playing around over on this uh, website, droidviews.com, which I've done in the past, and uh, they usually have a lot of these system dumps, launchers, uh, notification sounds, ringtones, wallpapers, and things from different devices, which I like to play around with every once in a while. So I went over there yesterday and found that they have the TouchWiz or the uh, LG uh, UI 3.0 Home Launcher available. This is droidviews.com. Big props and all credit goes to them. Uh, Android Apps is the section that it's in, but it was also right there on the front page, so you might be able to just find it right there. Install LG UI 3.0 Home Launcher and Weather Widget on your rooted Android phone. Of course, you do have to be rooted for this one, but it's uh, pretty sweet. These are some of the other launchers that they put out, uh, the Xperia Z, the Xperia Arc, Motorola Razor M, and the TouchWiz UX, uh, but I wanted to show you the LG one. So you're going to go down in the article until you get to this section here where the downloads are. Now, with the Samsung Galaxy S3, you're going to use the XHDPI uh, APK, which is right there. You download that one, and you're going to want to download the other two weather widgets as well, okay, or the weather APKs as well. You need both of them. One of them is going to be about uh, 40 so megabytes, so if you don't have... Uh, unlimited data you might want to use Wi-Fi but you need both of those weather APKs and the LG X HDPI APK okay once you download those and get them on your SD card this is how you're going to install them use something like root browser uh, and go into your SD card go into downloads and you're gonna see that I have the LG home 3.0 X HDPI and weather 1 and 2 you're going to want to copy those, so I'll do multi-select here to make it easier on us. We'll do LG Home, Weather, and Weather 2. You're going to want to copy them, back out, and get to your system. You're going to want to go to System Apps. Now, System Apps is where all of the apps are uh, that were included in your ROM, not the ones you downloaded from the Play Store. So this is getting into the uh, nitty-gritty of, uh, of the device here. So you get to the section, System Apps, which you see right up top, and you're going to paste them. Okay. Once you've pasted them, you're going to have them in your system app folder. You're going to want to go and change permissions. First thing you want to do is find the LG one, which is going to be in the L's here, LG Home. Okay, You're going to long press on it, and you're going to want to change your permissions. Okay, It's not going to be RWRR right off the bat. It's going to be like RWX, RW, RW, or something like that. You're going to want to change it to RW, read, write, read, read, RWRR. Hit OK and change those permissions. You're going to do the same thing down on the weather widget as well. So go down to the other two weather widgets. You see them right there, or the weather APKs. You're going to want to change those. You see it's RWRR on both of them. Weather 2 is that 41 megabyte um, APK. So you, like I said, you might want to use your Wi-Fi if you don't have unlimited data. Once you get those in there, you're going to and change your permissions. You're going to reboot your phone. And when you reboot the phone, they will be in there. And when you hit the home key, you will have the option for uh, the LG Home or Launcher. Select that one and here you go. Now one of the really cool things I like about it is K-Weather is the widget that this is made by. You can see K-Weather right under 47. The weather widget for this UI is absolutely awesome. It's beautiful. You can see the sun's coming up, so we got a little bit of night here with some clouds, and then we have the rest of the night. Sun's not up yet, so it actually keeps up to date with what's going on. It's pretty sweet. If you click on it here, you can see it's a really nice weather program with shooting stars going across the night sky. It's got your temperature, your high and low for the day, humidity. You can get weekly weather down here at the bottom. You can also get hourly weather here. Uh, for the day, which is pretty sweet. So uh, the weather widget is really nice and the weather program that comes with the LG So I'm really happy with that. This is what the home screen looks like as well You can see I've got some different folders on here. It does make folders similar to the uh, MIUI The folders look like it you can change the name and you can change the color of the folder as well. So that's an option Scrolling through the screens, very smooth, as smooth or not smoother than the TouchWiz launcher that we get on our phones. I love it. Going into the app drawer, you can see it is very quick. Boom, 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 boom. And when you're in there, you will have the uh, apps, you will have downloads, and you will have widgets. All your widgets are in there as well, so you don't have to worry about that. You can use most of the TouchWiz widgets, as you can see the two right here. Also using the calendar and the Google Now widget. And it does not slow the... the uh, the launcher down at all. So give it a try. Go to droidviews.com. Like I said, you're going to want to find the LG UI 3.0 Home Launcher and Weather Widget. You're going to scroll down. You're going to download the X 
HDPI APK and the Weather 1 and 2, put them on your SD card, push them to system, change your permissions, reboot the phone, and there you go. All right? It's a very sweet, uh, very sweet launcher. You can see, too, if you long press on here, you can actually select apps and put them right up in here from any one of these wallpapers, widgets, and downloads, which is pretty cool. So if I wanted to add that, I could probably just long press it here and put it right up in there, which is pretty sweet. So you can add stuff and kind of edit your pages on the fly. So give it a try. It's the LG 3.0 UI for the Samsung Galaxy S3. It works. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to check out my other ROM and app reviews at Android University at YouTube.com. My name is Hobart. Have a great day. See ya.